What is up, YouTube? Not too long ago, my kids had a mini meltdown. <laughs> With all the bakeries closed and no cookies in the house, here we are now. Without a lie, these cookies are probably better than your mama's recipe. So let's get into it. All right, friends, here we go. In a medium-sized bowl, you're gonna whisk together one cup or 125 grams of bread flour, three quarters of a cup or 94 grams of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons or 12 grams of kosher salt, one teaspoon or five grams of baking soda. You're gonna whisk, 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 whisk all those ingredients together and you're gonna put the bowl off to the side. Next, we're gonna be making some brown butter. Even though some may think that brown butter comes from brown cows, it is simply butter that has been melted and cooked until brown. For this recipe, we put one cup or 227 grams of butter into the microwave for about five minutes. If you're interested in making brown butter, the directions are in the description below. If you don't want to make brown butter in the microwave, you could do it using the traditional method, or you don't have to do it at all. Just know that the brown butter will give the cookies a beautiful nutty flavor and overall a more complex cookie. And now for the fun stuff, this is where the magic begins. In a mixer or by hand, you're gonna combine one cup or 195 grams of light brown sugar, half a cup or 100 grams of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon or five grams of espresso powder. Now you're gonna add one egg and one egg yolk. Mix all together until you have a smooth, shiny, silky texture. If you're using a KitchenAid or something similar, remove the whisk attachment and attach the paddle. Remember the flour mixture you made before? Yep, we're gonna be bringing it back. Carefully pour the flour mixture into the bowl, making sure that you don't spill flour all over the place. Also, don't make the same mistake that I did. Slowly combine the flour so you don't cover everything in flour dust. Slowly drizzle in the brown butter you made before, or just regular melted butter if you didn't believe me when I said that it would give your cookies a nice nutty flavor. And now ladies and gentlemen, when your dough begins to look like this, this is gonna be the base for our chocolate chip cookies. Now we will be adding the chocolate. Add a half a cup or 70 grams of semi-sweet chocolate, half cup or 70 grams of dark chocolate. My go-to is about 60 to 70% cacao. To avoid putting unnecessary strain on the mixer, I suggest incorporating everything by hand. You're gonna remove the cookie dough from the mixer, place into another bowl and cover with saran wrap and put it in the fridge for about 45 minutes. What? After patiently waiting for 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to remove the chocolate chip cookie dough from the fridge and you're gonna begin scooping the dough into bulks. After you're done scooping, you're gonna take the tray and put it back in the fridge for another 25 minutes. What? Putting the chocolate chip cookie dough into the fridge for another 25 minutes will ensure that your cookies don't look like pancakes, but instead you, they will look like chocolate chip cookies with a nice crust on the outside and moist and gooey on the inside. That is exactly what we're looking for. Into a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius preheated oven, you're going to remove the cookie dough from the fridge and transfer it into the oven for about 12 to 14 minutes. And now we patiently wait. We know that our cookies are done when they're nice and golden brown on the outside and nice and soft and glistening on the top. Let's take another look. We're almost there. While we wait for the cookies to cool down, here's a shameless plug. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more of my videos in the future. And now for the moment of truth. Notice the outside has a beautiful golden brown color, and on the inside, yep, just as we suspected. Warm, melted chocolate with a gooey, textured center. I can't wait to dig in. Thank you for checking out Raffa Loves Food, and we'll see you soon.